Hello viewers, this is Wagadar Ronald taking you through this tutorial of scattered graphs and Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. We are now on lesson 3 and we are going to look at how ranking is done. So ranking involves allocating positions to the given values in the size of in the order of size. In other words, the largest value gets the first position and the smallest value gets the last position. For identical values, there would be positions are averaged such that a similar rank is allocated to them. We shall see how this is done. So problem one, we are given a table having max of biology and chemistry for six candidates. And they want us to rank the original data separately in order of size. So this will be the table. This has, these are the marks of biology, marks of chemistry. Now this one denotes rank of biology. And how is it done? We shall look at the highest. The highest of this is 62, so it will take rank 1. Then go to second largest, which is 59, it will take 2. Third is 56. And fourth is 48. 5 is 42 and lastly 6 is 38. So these are the ranks of biology. For chemistry on the other hand, 84 is the largest so it will take rank 1 followed by 80 which is 2, followed by 73 which is 3, followed by 69 which is 4, followed by 64 which is 5 and lastly 60 which is 6. So that is how ranking is done. So if X denotes marks of biology and Y denotes marks of chemistry, we can now come and draw our table whereby X are the marks of biology, Y are the marks of chemistry, RX is the rank for biology, and ROY is the rank for chemistry. So that is what they wanted in that question. For problem two, we are also given a table for economics and geography, and these are the marks. They also want us to rank for economics and geography. In this case, we shall again redraw the table for economics, geography. This one represents the ranking for economics, ranking for geography. So we shall start. The highest is 81, so you take rank one. Followed by 75, it will take rank 2. Followed by 65, it will take rank 3. Followed by 60, and it will take rank 4. Followed by 52. But in this case, there are two positions, there are two candidates with the same mark of 52. So this one would have taken position 5, another one would have taken position 6. But remember they said for identical values, they must have the same rank. And that rank is got by getting their average. So in this case, we shall say 5 plus 6 divided by 2 to give us 5.5. .5. So this candidate will take 5.5 .5 rank, and this one also take 5.5. .5. I think you can see that now they are similarly ranked. Now position 6 has been taken. The next available position is 7. So the next value will take position 7. So 6 has already been taken. So the next position will be 7. Then the next rank will be 31, which is 8. That is how they rank economics. Now for geography, highest is 75. So it will take position 1. Followed by 63, position 2. Followed by 60, which is position 3 followed by 55 which is position 4 followed by 54 which is position 5 and also 40 but in this case there are two candidates with 40 there's this 40 there's also this candidate with 40 so what do we do one would have taken position 6 another would have taken position 7 but since they have to get the same rank we have to get the average of these positions. So 6 plus 7, everything divided by 2, you get 6.5. So both these candidates will get position 6.5. Now the next available position is 8. So this 35 will get 8. So that is how they rank 
economic sand that's how we have they can rank economic sand geography now in this case if x denotes economics and y denotes geography we can have a table whereby x is for economics y is for geography rx is for rank ranking economics and roy is the rank for geography so basically that's what they wanted in that question so problem three has eight schools which participated in a certain athletics race so we have a hundred meter race and 800 meter race so these are the values so all the scores and they also want us to rank them separately so we shall start with a hundred meter race the highest is 48 which is, so it will take position one now position two there is 45 here and 45 here there are two so there would be position would be two and three but since they have to get the same rank, we get their average, which is 2.5. So both this 45 and this 45 will get rank 2.5, 2.5. So position 3 has been taken, so the next position will be 4. So 42, will, 42 would have taken position 4. But the challenge is that we also have another one, another candidate with 42. So what do we do? Get the average of 4 and 5, which is 4.5. So each of these 42 will take 4.5, 4.5. Now 5 has been taken, so the next position will be 6. That is why on 35 we put 6, followed by 7, and lastly 8. For On the other hand, for a 100 meter race, highest is 72 to take position 1, followed by 68, position 2, 60, position 3, 58, position 4, 57 position 5, 54 position 6, 48 position 7, and lastly 40 position 8. So if x denotes 100 meter race and y denotes 800 meter race, the table can be in this form x 100 meter race, 800 meter race, rank for 100 meter race, and rank for 800 meter race. Now in this last pause, in this last problem we have also values here for music and math they want us to get their ranks so the procedure will be the same highest will be 1 which is 280 followed by 273 2 3 4 5 6 7 now 8 they have three candidates with the same mark 150 150 150 so in that case, we get the average. Position would have been 8, 9, 10. So we get the average to get 9. So now all these ones will get rank 9, 9, 9. Then for math, it will be first position is now first, second, and third all have the same mark, 70, 70, 70. So we get their average, which is 2. Now all of them will get rank 2, 2, 2. Now, three positions have been taken, so the next will be four, like as you see here, four. Then five is here, six is here, seven is here, eight is here, nine is here, ten is here. So that is how they rank. Similarly, if X did not score for math and Y did not score for music, we can still come up with a table like that. So that has been the lesson for today. Tune in next time to to learn how to calculate the spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning. Thank you.